In this video, I'm going to explain how you can install an instance of WordPress on your local computer that isn't accessible to anybody other than you. This is great for testing and playing around with WordPress, but also for developing a site before deploying it live on the web. I know long drawn out tutorials get annoying fast, so let's keep this short. Usually, you'd need to install some sort of web server software such as WAMP server, XAMP, LAMP, MAMP, or similar. This makes it much easier than using a simple web server such as Nginx or Apache, as it also handles the database management of the site. In this video, we're going to look at a program that makes this even easier, Local. Formerly known as Local by Flywheel, and now by the somewhat ambiguous name Local, this software allows you to create and run multiple WordPress sites locally, or within the same program. To install Local, head to localwp.com and click the download button at the top of the page. I'll leave a link in the description to this and any other links referenced in this video. Click the drop down to choose your operating system from the list. I'm currently using Linux Mint, so I'll choose Linux Debian based. After this, you'll be prompted to enter in some details, but don't worry, all that is actually required here is an email address and the other fields can be left blank. Feel free to grab a temporary email address for this, then hit the green button. Run the installer package once it's downloaded to install local and go through the setup prompts. Once you've got local installed and ready to go, you can start up the application where you'll be required to accept the terms of service before getting started. It will then prompt you to make a free account that unlocks access to additional features such as cloud backups to your drive or Dropbox and a few other things. I haven't tested any of the features that the account unlocks, so I'm not sure how useful they are, but feel free to try that if that's something you're interested in. Otherwise, you can just hit the X in the top right of the screen. After choosing a couple more options, you're all set up and ready to go. To make a new site, just hit the Create a New Site button. You can start with a completely fresh installation, or use a blueprint that is basically just a site that's pre-configured with some themes, plugins, and settings. You can also import an existing site. Give your site a name and hit Continue. Leave your environment settings on Preferred unless you're a nerd and you want to configure the server and versions your site uses. Make a super secure username and password for your site. Because this is a local installation that can't be accessed by anybody outside this computer, it doesn't really matter here. For a real site, always, always use an extremely secure password and not the default admin username. And that's it. You'll need to provide admin verification to allow the program to edit your host's file so that it can render the website on its own internal domain name. After that, give it a second to download and install WordPress, then you'll be ready to start messing around with your site. Click Open Site in the top right to open your browser or WP Admin to shortcut to the admin login page. There are a few other settings here that you can configure, but for most people, this is where it will end. In the bottom left, you'll see a plus button to add a new site, and you can make as many as you like, all running at the same time. As you can see here, our different sites appear under their own individual domain names in the browser, and you can have them all running together at the same time without messing around with different ports on your local host. There is a bunch of other functionality in the local program, but for most people, this is more than enough to get up and running with a local testing environment for WordPress. To be honest, I'm surprised this software is free and that it's so easy to use. It's a clean and elegant alternative to messing around with web servers and databases. Please consider liking and subscribing if you found this at all helpful, and leave any questions or issues you had in the comments and I'll do my best to help you out. Thanks for watching.